Welcome back. Today it's all about the Z-seam, how to position the Z-seam, combing, wipe, coasting, how that all fits together so that you get a perfect print. Look at this. On the left side, this is a very ugly print, the ugliest I ever printed almost. And here on the right side, this is a beautiful print and how to get there. That's the thing I'm going to show today. Part Thinky Browser Browse Desktop Rocket Search. Okay, so we can easily using a 0.4 millimeter line with 0.4 millimeter line with just as said three and a half hours. Wow, that's for such a little part here. Oh, that's really that's really a lot. So let me see how this is going here. And I see the first, oops, I see the first problem here. So there is no infill, nothing. This, this is where the air goes through later on. And this will be covered, the, the, the very f next layer, tzak, you see, the very next layer will cover it up with lines and it will have to build here uh, this circle line uh, with nothing underneath and also this. So please, if you design any parts by yourself, so if the lines are crossing here, then make it a straight line and then it can get filled line by line uh, nicely because I know already this line here will fall down and it's not good design. That's my that's the whole point here. Okay, bad. Anyhow, um, I'm using this part here. Okay, it will take three hours and a half. Let's see, why is that so? You see, we have here three lines. The, the, the red one is the outer line and the green one is the inner line. So, okay, so a line with 2.4. So let's put this to, uh, to, to 0 0.6 and see what changes. From three and a half hours, it drops down to only one hour, 55 minutes. So that means we can print the whole part in just one hour, 55 minutes, simply by changing that little feature here and uh, making the wall line a little bit uh, wider and see so what the creator has uh, suggested printing in 0.4 was absolute not a good suggestion at all these are traveling lines there is a z seam here and is traveling here crossing that line here it will it will irri give an irritation and a little blob and uh, whatever that. So it just looks ugly as the part I showed you before. This was printed as this here. Okay, so what do we need to do? We cannot print in randomize here. So we decide, let's take uh, the shortest. Oh, look at this. So then the seam will be put up here. It's a little bit here. And here a little bit, well, it uh, looks um, looks different. At least the traveling is here, but it's not good at all. You see, the traveling has to go through this wall, past this wall, and start here with the seam. Even even worse is that now we have the seam he placed here, where we have this forty-five degree overhang. That means this front here is especially difficult for the printer because of this overhang and then we introduce additional difficulty because we want to place that z seam here so that will look ugly i wanted to have the z seam here and i wanted to have the z seam here on this side facing uh, each other so how do we do that if I use any presets here, like um, uh, shortest um, or whatever, I cannot get to this point that I have them, the Z seams facing each other here. So if you choose now anything like, let's say uh, the left side, what means left side? Left side of what? Cura is concerning the bed. This is the bed left side. And now the Z seam is facing this left side here. And that's why this is correct. Now we have the Z seam here and here and here. So this looks a little bit better, but again, we don't have it here. So if you do your cross here, relative, <clears throat> then this means it is relative to the part. If you put this part somewhere else here, then the angle changes. If you have it relative to the part, then it will always be as here. 
let me see if I can demonstrate it to you. So let's shift this a little bit. You see, there's the Z-seam. And uh, even though if we take the part and we put it uh, some, uh, somewhere here, <clears throat> so the Z-seam will be relative to the part's center here exactly on the same. So if now I choose here, um, just plane on the left side, without being relative to the part, see what happens here. You see, so the Z seam is moving a little bit, right? It's not straightened anymore. It's like here. Then the Z seam is facing this point. If I take the relative, it is relative to the part. And it's straighten up okay we wanted to have the z seam facing each other let's do a little trick here because we can type in the coordinates and we say now we want to have it zero and zero relative to the part so and what happens now is that this is the part with its coordinates and in the middle because this is symmetrical of course and here in the middle is the zero zero point of this part and now the z seams are facing this little point here yeah if you can imagine this one other thing is that it's not so ideal right now is that we have a little bit of z seam here and a little bit here because Kura, this is symmetrical, so Kura could not decide if it should this side or this side to run the Z-seam. Kura will not decide uh, something in the middle here because this is, this is a straight line and uh, Kura is uh, trying to avoid putting Z-seams on straight lines. So the straight line will end here and uh, this will turn into the radius. So here will Kura put the Z-seam and of course it could also use this one but this is further away so that's why this is the closest to this point we just defined here with zero zero okay how do i fix this one now here the y direction and just put a one there that's enough and so what happened now you see this side is clean and now cura puts all here together because i moved with our uh, imagined point a little bit out of the center here towards this side down here and that's why it comes like this so now to me the z seam is aligned uh, exactly as i wanted to have it let me jump to this calming modus this is something i have always on it doesn't matter what i print calming modus is for me always on I'm always choosing not in outer skin. So what happens then? How is Cura printing this? First of all, Cura will put the, the, the lines here and then start filling the whole thing. And of course, it cannot fill here just in one. So there are different techniques. So it will fill a little bit here and then it has to jump around and will fill a little bit here. So until the whole surface is filled, it will just travel from here to here and start here filling because that's the shortest and the quickest way just to save time if this is the the top surface that you want to have beautiful this is very bad and sometimes you will have it on your top surface you will wondering why there is a scratch in the middle because the nozzle will move of course you can tell the nozzle to lift up here travel and to lift down but that takes time and it's a little bit for the mechanical part maybe not so ideal so better is to use calming it will print here all the lines and if it's done with this line it will travel straight within the line until it reaches any uh, inner outer line here <coughs> and then it will travel around staying in between these lines that are there already where uh, until it reaches the point where it has to uh, continue to print and then it will using the same line direction will print again so that means from all this traveling from here to here you will see nothing because it will stay always within the lines so not having crossing any outer lines here or crossing any 
uh, top surfaces. So this gives you always the better print result. It will cost you just seconds more. So that's why I always calming modus not in outer skin. Okay. Wipe distance. Wipe distance. So uh, I will jump to a piece of paper to explain the wipe theory. So I put something like here that's a 0.3 millimeter. Uh, that's half the line width of a 0.6, which I use here for all this lines. So what, what's the printing logic behind Curial? So let's assume this is just one layer within our cylindrical part. This is now the inner wall line and the inner wall lines, usually they get printed first. So this is the first inner wall line that is printed here. So the nozzle will start, come around. What's happening here? Then it will here move to the outside so like this and it will continue and print move around here and print our outer line okay so what happens here when this outer line is ready depends on what follows here inside usually some of the um, infill or something then this will stop here and just move inside and to uh, print whatever is there. And that means we have this Z seam here. Now it's interesting. If you take a careful look to your Z seam, it might be that your Z seam here gets a little bit uh, to the outside here, gets a little bit bulgy to the outside. Well, why that? Well, because here, the nozzle will start slowing down a little bit until it just moves inside. And while it's slowing down here, there is still some pressure from within the nozzle that is squeezing to the outwards and this goes slower. And if this goes slower, but the infill still squeezes out, it will give this blob here. And uh, this, is what we, this is what we don't want to have. To avoid this one is the coasting function. And so you define in advance where the filament will stop to feed. So, and actually when this nozzle uh, begins to slow down right before the end of this line, it will stop to um, press filaments through the nozzle. And that's why this blob will not happen because it's less filament here. And by adjusting this amount here, you can adjust how to reduce this blob here. Sometimes that there is a little gap even, huh? that the Z seam is not filled correctly. So what do we do here? This is the other function, wiping. What is wiping doing? Cura is telling the nozzle to traveling a little bit further than it usually does. So that means that this effect here is shifted a little bit further around. So, and by just moving the nozzle without uh, pressing filament through a little bit further mechanically, that's why you wipe over this gap that you might have here. So, and this wiping distance, um, you can, I usually take a half the line with here. That's almost enough. You can experiment with this a little bit around. So you see, when using coasting and wiping, you can fine tune the amount of filament and the traveling of the nozzle at the end here, so that you can really um, get your Z seam here um, nice, small, invisible as you want to have it. And okay, back to Cura. So this is the wipe distance that we have here. And other thing is, that is here hidden under experimental and this is coasting coasting i usually activate coasting and it comes original with this preset here 0.064 cubic millimeter um, i sometimes try a little bit more here depends on the line width i use so we have covered coasting we have covered wiping we have covered um, how to position disease seams thanks for watching hope you enjoyed it so leave a comment, leave your thumbs up, or is my English too bad so that you say, oh, please don't do it anymore. <laughs>